Just wanted to thank Casa Shielding for letting us foster this wonderful dog. Ah, she's sleeping. Um, and do a little tips for people in hopes of inspiring them to uh, either a foster a dog, which is great because you don't have that big commitment. You'd feel really bad if you um, had a dog and you thought it was yours and you had to give it back. This allows you to, to see the responsibility on any type of pet. And also you may choose an older dog or a younger dog, a cat, long haired, short haired, um, because what you might learn by fostering. Sometimes you think I can't deal with the dog because hey, I travel, I work. But sometimes when you foster, it's a totally different situation. Uh, we have fostered older dogs and it was a little bit different than a puppy. When the puppy first came the first night that she actually peed on two of our carpets. Darn, because I had just had him washed. Um, so then after that, I just had a certain section of the house that I removed the carpets and I just kept taking her out um, quite frequently. So you have to be around to do that unless you have an area outside and we don't have a good area out there. And, um, and I would say we've had her six days. She, she basically um, has not peed in the house ever since. Um, one time I kind of laughed because um, little peep and a little poop and right by the door and I guessed it that the next door neighbor has two huge dogs and I think they just scared her and she went a little bit. But otherwise she has been amazing, but it's really because we take the time to do that. Um, definitely um, take her out. I have this little purse and I leave it by the door. It's separate. It's got none of my personal stuff in it but it does have little doggy poop bags. It has a treat bag, the leash, some sunglasses, and I take her out as often as I can. Every time she does a little pee, at first it takes a while for them to have their routine spot where they pee, but every time you just praise them and give them a little treat, every time they do something good. Um, and um, I do have a couple of videos. She was pretty aggressive when um, she was on a lease with other dogs. She seemed very nervous and territorial, but it reminded me of another pet that we shared with um, the neighbor. And when we took her to the dog park, when we took her off leash, they're totally different animals. Um, but you would wanna do that when they really come, when you call, you wanna start that, not at the time at dog parks, like early in the morning when there's a lot of dogs, just a few dogs, because it could be very overwhelming for them, especially this young puppy is just not used to anything. Um, but it was really nice to let them run around like crazy and, and socialize and uh, be good with other dogs. Again, when I call her and she comes, I always give her a treat so then they learn to come. Every time that they pee outside of the house, I give her a treat so she learns to pee outside. If she pees inside, I would put her nose in it and yell bad dog, but you don't have to hit them and beat them. They know they have their feelings hurt and as soon as you start to put their little nose in it, it's like, ah, but you gotta train them. They don't know. Um, but here was a little video I took um, of her in the dog park and it was, I felt a little nervous at first because I'm like, okay, is she going to come back when I call? But you could also see when she hears it. So she's a good, really good. Yeah, she hears the food. I didn't even call her name. So you shake it a little bit. But she was really good with staying close, which I was concerned about because we've had dogs in the past and you don't have to give them much, just that little bit. I also find when you go to the dog park, sounds funny to say, but if you don't feed them before you go, they also have more motivation to, um, to come back to be fed. Because there are times where in the past with pets, we fed them and then we shake for their food and they're not hungry, so they don't come. But here's another video of the dog park that was so cute. And again, she was always very nervous with dogs before. And it did kind of take her a minute, but. I mean, they can't run like this in the house or the backyard. And she's a puppy. She really needs to run. And it's just so exciting to see. They're so happy. Um, her first run. I don't first, think she's ever run like this before. First run with me, actually. 
Um, and the next day there was like five dogs. She was a little bit overwhelmed. So then again, I learned to not go in the beginning of the day when everybody takes their dogs or on a Saturday, it's just way too busy for them. Here's the other one that my husband was teaching her how to uh, go in the water. Um, the first day we got her, the first day we got her, she ran to us from the other side of the pool and fell in. She absolutely didn't know what water was and she like freaked out and almost drowned. <laughs> But she really does like the water, not enough to jump in on her own. But she's got to learn where the stairs are because that was a problem the first day. She didn't know where the stairs are and that would have been disastrous. So we actually had to cover up where the stairs were to make sure that she wasn't able to get down there on her own. And you'll find that she's... She's not afraid of the water where even when he takes her out of the water, you'll see that she stands there on the on the side that she doesn't run away and is afraid of it. So it's really nice, but she's too nervous to get on her own. But once again, I want to thank Casa Sheila because it's been great fostering. Um, we've had a few pets. We've never had a problem, and but it is also very nice to um, give them back. Anyway, a volunteer for Costa C Sheila, get to know some pets, foster, and hopefully you'll also want to own one because they are lo loving pets. Have a great day.